Baby May Son was born prematurely at just 27 weeks. Weighing in at just over one pound, he was at immediate risk of hypothermia. But doctors have come up with two innovative and inexpensive ways to prevent the deadly condition, a simple plastic bag and a sports gel pack. This is um, the sort of thing that you might find if you go walking or skiing. You press the little button and this gel reaches body temperature within a minute and stays hot for about 20 minutes. So it's a nice reservoir of heat energy for the baby. And we have our overhead heater as well. The baby will be presented to us in a plastic bag. The midwife will put, put those straight in the plastic bag. We cover the baby up and that stops any water evaporation, cooling the baby down further. And while Rebecca Murray was only able to briefly hold her son before he was placed on life support, she is grateful for the care the hospital has given her son. I do, I do wish he was a lot bigger. I do wish he was off the ventilator. I do wish he, he didn't have to have blood transfusions because he's had three now. Um, I wish he didn't have to have the morphine to sedate him. But then all these combined to helping him more than what I could while he was inside. Mason's condition, while extreme, is anything but rare. An estimated 82,000 premature infants were born in the UK in 2007 alone. The plastic bag treatment has the potential to save many lives. Because you're born prematurely, go cold very quickly unless you take very good special care of them. The reasons for that is that they're covered in fluid and that fluid evaporates very fast and takes heat with it. The monitors over Mason's incubator illustrate the fragility of his condition. He must stay on the ventilator, which causes him discomfort and pain. And that in turn means he still needs to be given morphine. Murray has prepared Mason's nursery with plenty of soft toys and is eager for him to come home. But Mason has a long way to go and will likely have to wait until February or March before he's gained the strength to leave the hospital. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.